But Senator Bill Nelson is expressing anger over a state decision to ban any excavations of graves at the former Dozier School for Boys. Florida's Secretary of State says USF researchers do not have authority to dig up these graves. Today, a USF attorney wrote a letter to the Secretary of State, though, pointing out some legal arguments for that work to go on. But do any of them really work? Nicole DeShore put a few to the test. According to the lawsuit, unnecessary institutionalization denies children the full opportunity to develop and maintain bonds with family and friends, impairs their ability to interact with peers without disabilities. Their technical name is the Africanized honeybee, but we know them better as killer bees. And they're still terrorizing people in the Bay Area. Problem that you need help solving, killer bees or otherwise, Aid on Your Side wants to hear about it. Our we begin this evening with an update to an ongoing Aid on Your Side investigation into the Lakeland Police Department. Late today, two people who were going to help delve into what's wrong in Lakeland resigned. The police department has been hit with several investigations over the past couple of weeks, from a sex scandal to reports of falsifying documents to women being forced to shake out their bras during traffic stops. News Channel East Paul Lamison got swept up in the excitement of the royal baby's arrival. He is in London tonight. Mm -hmm. it's, it's convenient. But that delivery to your door costs the Postal Service more than $350 a year for each customer. Curbside delivery runs about $224, and Cluster Box reduces the cost to about $160. In a year, the U.S. Postal Service estimates that could add up to $4.5 billion in savings. Great Britain's newest prince has a name. It is George Alexander Louis. As London takes in that big news, his royal parents are getting used to their new routines. <laughs> well, the first Bucks preseason game is just a few weeks away. On August 8th, the Bucks will host the Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens at Ray J. The next two games are on the road, first in New England, then Miami. The last game is back in Tampa on August 29th against the Washington Redskins. We wanted to know, do people in Polk County still have confidence in the police chief, Lisa Womack? A Survey USA poll shows 47% do have confidence, 32% have no confidence, and 21% are not sure.